Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. Today we enter the railway cottage, deemed the most haunted house in the UK, taken over from 30 East Drive. That chandelier has been known to swing. It all starts swinging, there's no, no breeze. The fucking bits at the bottom are moving. It is not the floor, it's a hard floor, it's concrete. Maybe we're more vulnerable on our own. The K2 and that's gone off, I've got it on camera. Whoa. Oh no. Turn it back on if that's a yes. You want us, one of us to stay in here alone. Right, start with the mirror. Um, the mirror originated from the end house number six, because the six cottages, which originally was three cottages, but it was in split in half. Um, now, when we first came up here in 1965, uh, there was a very, very old couple at the end, it was in the 80s, Mr and Mrs Cox. That was on a wardrobe. They gave it to my grandmother when they died. Um, so it was in number three. And then when my grandmother died, the cupboard came into here, but because of all the damp, it deteriorated, but we still got the mirror. So we don't actually know how it is, old it is, but it's probably as old as the house cottage, which is uh, 1874. So, And they'd, they'd had it as second hand, so it's really old. This year, um, we, we get a lot of people, so, uh, like, I guess, use spirit talkers and things, and they'll say they're in a cold, dark place. But if you look there on the wall, you can see a line going across. Well, this was the pantry, and the door was about here. So this was like, this could have been a cold, dark place or it could have been under the stairs, which was obviously been, we don't know if that was a cellar at some time being filled in. Um, we have got reports of a young boy called Robert in here a lot, and uh, we've got a suspicion he might still be in the house, because he has like uh, learning difficulties, and he was kept hidden away. Um, no record of him being buried, taken out of the house or anything, but he's here, so we, don't, we just don't know. Unless we dig it up, we'll never find out. But that could be the cold, dark place. And then underneath it is a mine shaft, which runs from just at the back. There was an explosion uh, not long after it, this was built. Uh, it blew out all the gas pipes, and there was two men killed underneath. There was actually three men killed underneath, but there's only two named. We don't know who the other one was. But we've got the coroner's report and everything. Um, and it blew, so that's why there's never been any gas in these houses, because it blew all the pipes out. That's your kitchen. Do you have any plans to dig up the underneath? It's getting that way. <laughs> we're gonna, we, keep, we keep saying, we, we have took a few tiles up out the floor, but when you take them up, it's like black coal dust. There's no f solid foundations. Uh, it's ever so weird, because that way it hasn't sunk or, or anything. And if you throw a bucket of water on the floor, you expect it to seep through and be gone. It doesn't. It's, it's airtight, solid. We don't know. How they've done it, we don't know. But, yeah. Keep saying don't know a lot. Uh, the dialogue box has come from some friends. Uh, they donated it for us, that's Mystic Paranormal, and the doll. Now, the, the reason the doll's here, Edna, she, when I was at their house, kept knocking their dolls over. So she's been isolated away from our dolls in here, and she don't like it very much. But the box was open, and when they opened it in their house, they videoed it, and there was a, like a scream come out of it. Uh, and then, so obviously it gone. Um, and he said, what do you want to do with the box now? Shall we bury it in the garden, what are we going to do? And me, you know, bring it here. So we've got it. But there was a lady here the other day, so she was getting a lot of feelings from it. She actually sat in the she said, I feel really weird here. And then I said, well, the diamond box above your head. Uh, they do swing on their own. The door opens on its own, that door opens on its own. The reason there's a rocking chair here is there was a report in 1965, just before my dad, as my dad bought the house, the people that was here before left, because they used to see the apparition of an old lady in a rocking chair knitting, and she used to throw things. And we actually know somebody in the village that knew the people, so we can't actually confirm that's right. It was friends of the people that lived, it, lived here. So we've got that. Um, there's not a lot happens in here. We get doors opening, we had doors opening the other day, you get the lights swinging, um, bits and pieces like that. I mean, that's more than happens in most houses, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like... you get more than most people. We've had the rocking chair moved to the right sound. That chandelier has been known to to swing. They all start swinging, there's no, no breeze. Uh, we've had a, a lady that comes here quite a lot. She's ever so nice. And Janet sat in there, and twice she's been possessed while she's been there. We've, and it was really warm in here, we had a fire on. 
and you could actually, there was like a vortex of cold air, and you could actually put your hand in and feel the cold air. So we had to put a blanket around to warm her up, bring her out of it, and it took about half an hour. We were a bit frightened, really, because we didn't think we could get her back. Um, but yeah, that's, that's happened like, twice with her, once with somebody else. Um, you get to see stick men in here and all sorts. But it's all that is like, and not much happens in here. Is people get possessed, like like <laughs> yeah, swinging. Yeah, like. yeah, to be honest. <laughs> right, um, this this one is really it's a rumor that we can't um, we can't confirm, can't deny. To be honest, um, when we, what the reason why my parents bought the house, well they bought the house not knowing what was was was, what, it was here. Uh, when they bought it, they paid £500 for it. My dad said my dad bought three. Uh, now, it always takes your breath away when you come through as well. It's, mm. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, they, they did the house up ready to come and move in here. It got smashed up for the, for the summer while I was away. Same thing happened the following year, got smashed up. And we found out people were looking for some sovereigns that were supposed to be hidden. Never found. Now, these sovereigns, um, a train driver, they are supposed to have stolen them from another station, fetched them back here, and then policeman's come here to find out about the sovereigns, and he's killed him, and then, well, killed the policeman. We think he just knocked him out, because he said he got an head injury, and then hung himself off stairs. But we've got no proof of it, but it's everybody in the village knows it. So, um, that's why it takes your breath away. Uh, in here, we've had um, a man called, we get a man called William Wallace a lot. Uh, you get him, we've had him on that wall as a stick man falling over and getting up like he was drunk. And uh, then as he was doing this, a little girl came around the corner, well, I'm sure it was a girl, a little child came around and waved to us, asked, waved on to command. And then the lady that was there said, don't want to help you up, and like, the stick man looked up at her, disappeared. Mm. And like, he was like drunk, because the first foot is, like, hurt his legs, but he, he was drunk. Um, we asked somebody who wanted to call him out to ask about the mills and, and ask about the chapel. And uh, he, he was stood there, and his shadow was casting as he got a wig. He hasn't, he's got a bald head. And when we looked at the picture of the window afterwards, there's a man pointing, you can actually see his hand, and he's got Yorkshire Terry on his knee, and pulling his face, ugly face, like, you know, mad at him. So is, is that William Wallace? We don't know. We had a man in here that was doing a, an organised event, and he'd done one the night before, so he came in here and thought, I'll have five minutes on there, so he's made himself a bit of a bed. And he got a spirit talker on it, and said, don't look behind you. <laughs> so he thought, no, I'm not. But he was half asleep, so he thought, not bothered. And he looked in the mirror and he could see a man standing behind him, like coming towards him. And he said, he's sort of like, he was young and fit as well. He said, I couldn't get up. He said, my legs wouldn't work. And he sort of did a roll, <laughs> and then on his hands and knees and scrambled out of the room. And he, and he run down and he was frightened to death. And he said, we've always wanted to see one. And then, you know, you've got one now. <laughs> he's yeah. like, no, but I didn't really expect one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we, there's loads happening here. I've forgotten more than what I know. The bathroom, uh, people don't investigate it very much now because it is a bathroom. But before it was a bathroom, when it was just a room, uh, we used to get a lot of activity in there. Um, but now, because it's a bathroom, people don't go in there and do it. But we used to get a lot in there. And I've been talking to people, and the mop fell over once, behind us while we was talking, but we wasn't filming. And then uh, that night they went in and said, oh, while we were talking earlier on, this mop fell over, and while I was filming it, it fell over again. And they've jumped on the floor, the floor don't move. Mm. Uh, so he did it twice in one night for somebody. Crazy. Right, these dolls, it started off, uh, a really nice man called Dan Litchfield, um, he gave us some, and we put them on the stairs. And then we decided it was a bit of a trip hazard, so we fetched them in here, and then we keep getting more and more dolls donated. So we've now got loads. That doll fell over the other night. That's the doll that um, said she was stuck here when, we put, when, no. when I went to collect her. And I had a choice of two. And that's the one that said, the other one said, keep on walking. And that one said, uh, I'm stuck here. Now, she, the first night she was in here, people were filming and she fell over and knocked these all over. Uh, that's, that's the doll that used to move about a lot on the stairs. She used to knock all the others down. If you put the bottom, well, the bottom two steps, she was fine. Any other steps, she used to fall over. Lucy, she talks to everybody and anybody. She'll give you a proper answers. You ask her a question on the spirit top box. She'll come straight back with whatever you want to say, whatever you ask her. You can ask her a name, you can ask her anything, she'll come straight back with the right answer. 
even to tell the workers that I was on my way. I mean, we had some people coming here, and the man hadn't come, come inside. And when we first got that, he said he pictured a, a pram. It was sat there, a doll's pram, like a, an old fashioned pram, and uh, the name Baby Jane. But like, he hadn't been up here. The others had been up. Nobody's talked to him. I, I was here. Look, Baby Jane. Old fashioned pram. So uh, that was a bit of a weird one. Uh, that's the beam where we think the train driver hung itself because it's been cut out. We found it hidden in the loft. So we, uh, we fetched it down because that would have been where it was, like the cross of the stairs. Uh, I've not actually told many people about that. That doll sat up for some people that was in here the other night. It was actually laid down and it actually sat up. And um, they come running out, I was still here, all that. That's what you want. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's brilliant. You're really welcome. Again Enjoy uh... resting like that. Yeah. Stay safe. Well, we, we will stay safe, yeah. No, <laughs> no demon. Well, we've got plenty of pistols downstairs. You must put them in your pocket. I might eat some. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just in case. I want them back, so I'll have to hang around a bit. I've <laughs> <laughs> got some tablets for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's You're welcome. Brilliant. That was a really interesting walk around actually. Uh, it's not every day that we get to meet the owner and get to hear the stories firsthand. So uh, we've actually gone into night vision straight away. It's getting dark and we do have some things set up. Candles are in here are lit. So we are just gonna try and get as much activity as we can. And I'm really, really hoping we get something awesome. I'm not. No, me neither. I'm hoping it's complete shit. And yeah. I hope there is no activity whatsoever in here. Yeah. I really hope there are no spirits in here who can scare us because oh, that would be no. terrible. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. I would have to run out screaming. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Screaming. Screaming. Woo! Terrified of this. Oh, no! I don't know how I'm coping right now with oh. all this... <laughs> okay, yeah, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> let's have a look in the chocolate cupboard. I mean, let's have a look out here, show you the candles and so on. In fact, actually, should we just point blank start in this room? Yeah. Because it's literally the end of, of the building. Because, I mean, well, we've got stories of the mine tunnels, cellars, people doing all sorts of dying in here. And, um, a, and a light that yeah. swings all on its own. <sighs> Like and, that. and with help. Yeah. Now we should stop it from moving. <laughs> Sorry. We just had um, a, a live stream and we're a little bit like stoked of how well it went. <laughs> <laughs> and in all honesty, guys, this location is actually brilliant. It really is brilliant. So we are still here if you can hear us. And we're still here if you can't. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> um, please come and make yourself known. Again, we're still here with the utmost respect. We're calling out to any spirits who can hear us. Any and all. We're not just the ones that can't hear us. Hmm. We can't do sign language for the ones that can't. Yeah. But if you can't hear us say that, then it doesn't matter anyway, because you wouldn't know we're doing it. Yeah. So. We've heard so many stories that you like to haunt here, or maybe not like to, but that you do. But... We would love to communicate with you, so we need to have an idea of where you are. What's that? That was like near the old mirror. The old mirror there's... 
Um, that's like really, really old as well, isn't it? Yeah. Catball. What the hell? I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> Did you? No. We didn't even ha we don't even have them anymore. No, we don't use cat balls or own cat balls. I swear that wasn't there earlier. It wasn't there earlier. Oh, and then that noise is like <laughs> like the cat ball just appeared out of nowhere and interesting. That hasn't gone off either. No, it hasn't. Like if it has been there all along, we've been around here long enough to know whether that's like gone off or whatever. Yeah. You see what I mean? How weird. So we haven't used cat balls in quite a long time because they just seem to randomly go off. However, we spent a lot of time in that room and it was dark, so we would have seen it set off or we would have stood on it at some point. It's not really that amazing, but it's just a small piece to the puzzle that we can't solve. Okay, so if there's any spirits here, you'll know exactly what I mean by the cat ball. Can you push the cat ball, make it move to set it off? It's just in between the two of us. That is honestly really, really odd, though. Yeah, it is. Let's have a look through here, because I want to actually show that we have the... Um... So this is one of the things I'm actually most interested in with this house, in some respects, is this cabinet. Just before we actually started filming, um, we were walking around with that K2, and the K2 was going off in nearly every single part of this room, like, solidly. Mm. And we were told, obviously... Um, I don't think it was on camera, actually, but we were told that these items inside, mainly on this shelf and that shelf, are so haunted they'll essentially set the K2 off if you touch them with a K2. Mm -hmm. So we put the K2 in there in the hopes that something will happen if we catch it on camera. And obviously, being inside the box is sort of... It's much more shielded from our phones and things. They are off anyway, yeah. but, you know, you, you, you sort of can't manipulate them or anything from the outside. We did check around the back of the cabinet to see if there were wires coming down or anything, but there isn't. Um, there's nothing in the top and there's no electricity in that at all. Um, so it's very interesting, but it wasn't just going off over there. It's going off all around here. There's no electric. No. So, uh, well, yeah, that's quite exciting. We still need to have a look more at, at that more, but we're gonna leave that there for now. Um, oh, you got a, that's Yeah, cool. I put a locked off camera there because we won't see it go off. We can't turn the camera quick enough and so on. Okay. Okay, so if you can hear us, if any of those items in this cabinet belong to you, there is a, our own device in there as well. It doesn't belong there. So if you could just set it off or, I know, chuck out the cabinet, push it over. That would be amazing. We're gonna head upstairs now. Okay? The one thing I'm sort of waiting to see is if this doll has moved. What has moved? I'm just waiting to see if the doll has moved. No. Okay, let's start in that room. We probably know what we're going to ask. We really want to talk to you. Please make a sound. Please say something to us. 
scare us. We'll just come say hi. Difficult. There's literally nothing. Mm. Like absolutely nothing right now. I haven't heard anything for quite a while. No. Do you need anything? Where are you hiding? Considering how many spirits are supposed to be here, no one seems to want to be communicating with us all that much. It's not like us. hasn't even been this quiet since we've been here. It hasn't. It's... It's why there was more going on in the live stream that no one could hear. Mm. That's annoying. It's very annoying. Do you know Charmaine? Are you related to her? Is that two knocks for yes? It's always in there. Always in there. The room. only activity I think we've really had is in that doll's room. Yeah. Definitely. We know what that means. We won't go in the doll's room. Hello? Behind me then. Thank you. Does that mean you can hear us now? Was it you? Yeah. I'm right next to the chair, that was me. Okay. Is that you trying to communicate now? What was that then? Can you do that again? That's amazing. If you can carry on doing that, we would be happy. It's coming from next door. Yeah, I think you're right. Some of it isn't, but that, like the sort of moving of cabinets almost, is 100% come from next door. 
but that isn't. Like you hear like doom, doom, and the noise that we heard mm. on the stairs obviously was was in here. Are those spirits with us now? Are any of you hiding inside these dolls? Do you use the dolls as your physical being? If you do, can you show me which one you are? Did one of them just move then? Did you hear that? No. That was one of something here. Seriously? Yeah. Which one of you just did that? Can you move? It almost sort of sounded like moving of a brick. Well, actually, odd enough. Hmm. Sort of sounded like that. Mm. If you are here, why are you here? What do you want? Are you stuck here? What was that from? We've been hearing that almost like all day. Well, not all day, I mean all day, but since we've got here. It's almost like a noise up in that top corner. Isn't it? It's like it's just... It's like knocking in the corner. What have we done? So, we've got a lovely array of dots on the wall. Um, but... Essentially, what we've found really is that not a whole lot has been happening upstairs. A whole lot has been happening downstairs, to be fair. But the things that have happened that we feel like we can carry on with, the fact that the K2s have been going off. Yeah. So this room, at least for us today, seems like the most active room out of all of them. It's the only place really there's anything you could class as paranormal, I guess. <clears throat> so we've got a camera facing the lasers, just in case anything moves in between. You can see what's us. That's where my camera is. So I won't obviously do that. <gasps> What's my that? god, is the. What was that? Oh! <laughs> Good. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I, it's, it's another one I say, do we even bother calling out? You just literally listen. Interesting. <laughs> K2, K2 just went off. I'm pretty sure I had that on camera. <laughs> Did it again then. And again. Let's not even ask then. No. It's like since I was now I said that it's not talk, it's like <laughs> Is 
It's like... Like you're playing games with us or something. It's, it's kind of the way it seems to me. It's like it doesn't like being... Or whoever it is doesn't like being told or asked to do stuff. Mm. And as soon as they think you're trying to trick them, they don't bother. Yeah. It's just like, oh, now we won't speak because things are going off. And then they're like, well, now I'm not going to make it go off. Yeah. Because I figured what you're doing. Copy this. Should we do some alone parts? Yeah. Maybe we're more vulnerable on our own or... Oh no. K2's going off. The K as soon as you said the K2 and that's gone off, I've got it on camera. Let's do that then. You want us to do that? Go off for alone? One of us upstairs, one of us downstairs. I think literally go outside. Whoa. Oh, no. I got that, did you? Yeah, I've, I've got the, um, the actual light itself on show. I zoomed out. Um, so, or was it go out? So it turned back, just come back on again. It literally just come back on again. Epic. That's a yes. And yeah, it just went off again. Oh. It's going on and off. Turn it back on if that's a yes. You want us, one of us to stay in here alone. <laughs> I'm so glad we got the locked off point on the wall too. I, that K2 went off as well. It, it's just gone off again. I'm going to come back in to show that I'm not doing anything, not that I could be. Can you turn it back on if you want one of us to leave? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave this like this and we can use your camera. Okay, do you want to go fast or do you want me to go fast? Is this just malfunctioning? It, it could be just like battery dying, but I mean the chances of that happening all at the same time, all of a sudden of asking that specific question, though. Does it just work fine? Yeah. So the best explanation for the laser turning itself on and off was that it was draining battery. You can actually see it getting dimmer the more we go on in the investigation. Okay. I'm here on my own then. I have to go up to the doll's room. Oh God, no. Whereabouts are you? Hello? Can you make a sound for me?
I'm here on my own. Hello? Can you move something in here? Can you copy me? This place has a proper weird vibe on your own. How's it going? It's your turn. Okay, so this is horrible on your own. Mm. I went up to the. I heard some knocking downstairs in the normal corner. Mm. I've just gone upstairs to the doll's room. It's a horrible room to be in. Um, and there was some weird scratching going on. Hmm. Could be an animal, but I don't think it is. <laughs> so okay. you go, and I'll go outside. Right, he's just left. Okay, I'm intrigued by this place. Full of spirits, supposedly. Most haunted place, potentially, in the world. We've had a few knocks, bangs, taps, K2s going off. Devices turn themselves on and off. It's all very, very good, but it's not the most amazing activity I've ever seen in my life, if I'm honest. In fact, I'd say it's quite minimal compared to some of the things we've had in other places. Can you prove to me how powerful you are? Prove to me how many of you there are? Do something really interesting. I only got upstairs because I haven't really done a whole lot upstairs. To be honest, I'm not sure I even believe the place is haunted. Can you change my mind? Just to say I'm now... And now with all the dolls... Come and say hello to me. Welcome me into the house. I'm a guest here, and you live here. Why don't you come and shake my hand or just try anything? I'm so intrigued to know who you are and what you do. I can hear something behind it, it's like a moth or something, I think. 
There's no one here, is there? I can smell, um, burning. Please tell me Elliot has moved that. Like, seriously. Right, so when I stand up to go downstairs, I notice that the doll and the pram has actually moved forwards a good six inches. In the, it looks like, like even the head's even turned to the right slightly. I've played back the footage, of when Elliot first went up the stairs for the alone challenge, and you can see that the shot from the stairs, the doll is actually forward. So it couldn't have been either of us because we were both always downstairs since we had last recorded the doll. Um, I can smell. Like, smells like all the candles have gone out, if you see what I mean. Yeah, holy shit, are they burnt out there? No. They're moving. The fucking bits in the bottom are moving. It is not the floor, it's a hard floor, it's concrete. That's moving. Hang on, how can I, um, where's the lighter? They are not burnt out. Oh my God, that's, in a line as well. How weird is that? Look, they are not burnt out. They have been blown out. And they are moving. The fact that the droplets are swinging would imply that there's a light breeze in that room. You can't feel any, and you can't hear any on the microphones either. But there's a chance that maybe even just me walking around the room would cause a light enough breeze to move them. But that to me does not explain why the candles have been blown out. What are you doing to those candles? Are you trying to blow them out? That's really weird because there's like virtually no... Well, there is no wind in here. I know candles have like, you know, moved by very, very light breeze, but...